Hi there. I am here to get you some tarot messages for today. I'm going to do a random reading, see what messages want to come through. Uh, somebody is um, needing this message to confirm their own knowing. Like this is just confirmation that you're on the right track. Um, before I even pull any cards, I'm feeling like this is just um, to confirm your own knowing. So if you found this message, you're at the right place. Uh, and this is confirmation of your own intuition is what I'm getting. Uh, but let's see what the messages are. Let's jump in. We have a page of wands. Okay, so you're getting some sort of, you're definitely getting some intuitive information, a lot of intuitive information, whether it's through a tarot reading, a song on the radio, uh, a dream that you have, or a conversation you overhear. Um, there's, you know, it could be a, an animal that crosses your path, uh, a book that falls off the shelf. You are receiving you are being inundated, actually, with signs and synchronicities from the universe that you are on the right path. Um, so just just keep following your instincts. Uh, seven of Sword. Okay, so there's something concerning you. Like, you know, am I in the right place? Am I doing the right thing? Am I trusting the right people? Follow your instincts. If somebody feels like they have an ulterior motive, uh, then trust your instincts. Um, but also be weary of weary of um, just, um, gosh, I'm getting like trust your instincts. I feel like I already want to clarify that Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords is one of them quote-unquote tricky cards like okay what does seven of swords is very complex seven of swords does get a bad rap like you know immediately it's like oh no someone's deceiving me someone's lying to me something something is off here but there's there's maybe questioning questioning maybe certain people around you certain people's motives maybe your own thoughts like where do i belong um, oftentimes the seven of swords is shown walking forward, but looking back like, okay, am I making the right decisions? You know, am I, am I fighting a battle, um, that's worth the fight or should I leave it behind? Uh, seven of swords can be like an escape card. Like I got to get out of here. There's something new. Um, let's, I, I, I'll wait to clarify. Let's just keep going. Usually I pull the cards and then I read the message. But the message is coming through loud and clear before I even pulled cards. The message was, you know, saying trust your instincts. If you found this message on some level, you already know the answer. You don't really even need this tarot message. But it's another sign and synchronicity in addition to everything else you are receiving. So trust your instincts for pentacles. Hold on to what you know to be true and be okay with releasing uh, any doubts uh, is what I'm getting. Ace of Swords. Yeah, see, you know the truth. You know the truth on an inner level. Like there's, there's, there's some... Um, you know, this feather energy. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with like the Egyptian the Egyptian deities like this is reminding me of uh, Matt uh, the feather of truth Matt's feather of truth um, I don't think I have anything within arm's reach uh, regarding Matt uh, but there's maybe Google Matt um, if you feel drawn to maybe there's some additional words of wisdom or confirmation there for you um, you know, outside of this particular tarot reading. Like, there's more truths to be found um, by researching Matt, M-A-A-T, uh, is what I'm getting here. 
Uh, there's, you know, it's interesting because Seven of Swords has a reputation of, of falsities and the Ace of Swords has a reputation of, of speaking truth. So, you know, what's true and what's false, true or false. Um, and, you know, it's, it is also a matter of perspective because what's true for one person may be false for another person. So just know your own truth. Uh, and continue on that path, regardless of it, if it aligns with other people's truths or not. You know, everyone has an opinion. Um, everyone has their own opinion, their own philosophies. Um, and I believe there are no right or wrongs. It's just your perspective. Three of Cups. So maybe there is some um, energies around you that can bring in maybe confusion or doubt. You know, Three of Cups, a lot of um, opinions here. Um, but, you know, Three of Cups can be like a celebratory card. So surround yourself with people that support you and your ideas um, and maybe leave behind uh, those who not necessarily leave behind but take with a grain of salt um, people or energies or situations that make you question your own truth because your truth is your truth two of wands okay so I feel like you are at a crossroad right now. Like, okay, where am I going here? Am I staying? Am I going? You know, again, I'm going back to that seven of swords there. Okay, we're walking forward, but we're looking back. Like, we're, you know, am I am I on the right path? Am I going in the right direction? I feel like you may might be questioning your path right now. I feel like there's a new opportunity that's coming up for you uh, that's going to give you a sense of more freedom uh, more ease, uh, and, and you are supported from above. So just keep following your guidance and do your best to, uh, do your best to, when we begin to doubt or someone raises a question where we begin to doubt our, our intuition, um, just stay focused here. The Six of Wands is saying, yes, you will achieve this goal that you have in mind. This, your instincts are right. Follow your instincts. Six of Pentacles. Yes, there's Six of Pentacles is, is that balance, that reciprocity. Sixes are also connected to the lovers, maybe making choices. Uh, what brings you joy? What brings you happiness? And what makes you um, doubt your... Your abilities, you know, some people are supportive and others, um, you know, make you question. So just surround yourself with people and energies uh, that are supportive is what I'm getting. Even your own thoughts, you know, sometimes we get like we wonder, you know, am I am I doing the right thing? Am I just imagining all of this, uh, all of these signs and synchronicities? Uh, just trust in your instincts and maybe to really reassure yourself and your own instincts and intuition maybe ask the universe for a very specific sign okay um okay universe if i'm correct show me a butterfly within the next 24 hours like very specific um give the universe a time frame and a specific um image uh and when you see it take that breath of of relaxation like okay yes I am on the right track and then just keep looking for that inspiration because you are definitely receiving tons of signs and synchronicities and sometimes we second guess it it's like oh this must be you know this must be your imagination or maybe you have some energies around you that say oh you're crazy you know you're you're crazy that's not true you're woo woo or whatever you know they um label you but that's okay just keep stay focused on your own truth and do your best not to allow anything to sway you from the path you know to be true here. Look, six of cups. So we have another six. So there's definitely, there's a sweetness to the six of cups. There's a fondness to the six of cups. There are, there's connections related to uh, the six of cups. People that are near and dear to you um, will be by your side. They'll always be by your side, whether they're physically close to you or not, whether they're near or 
or far. Um, their spirits are always with you. Like there's there's a fondness here. There's a sweetness. There is uh, generosity here. There's an innocence here. So just, you know, and if you feel like maybe you've made a mistake along the way or maybe you've done something that wasn't the best in your best interest or maybe you doubted something, um, that's okay too. We're meant to um, learn from choices that led us down roads that were more difficult than others. It's okay. Like everything is okay no matter what. This King of Cup energy. I feel like there's like a lot of emotional freedom coming towards you right now. Um, trust your own instincts. Trust your heart. Trust that when people love on you, they're genuine. I feel like you have a lot of genuine love around you. Um, and maybe you've been disappointed in the past or maybe something that you thought was good for you. Um, in the past turned out to to um, go sour but I'm feeling like there's something you deserve more you deserve the best believe in yourself and hold on to those things that are near and dear to you six of swords look at all the sixes we got six of wands six of pentacles six of swords six of cups all of the sixes that means you are in balance you are in harmony with your life um, and you know what's interesting is that the uh, the the it's kind of like the yin and the yang, the the um, positive, the negative. You know that ace of swords represents truth, and the in the seven of swords can represent, um, you know, false, true or false. So sometimes you need to learn both, learn from both, both pathways. You know, a false path and a true path. Keep following your true path and you'll never be led astray. And your intuition will guide you along your true path. Uh, look at, oh, here we go. The lovers. I was going to say the only six we don't have is the, is the lovers. I feel like I don't know... I feel like um, maybe even Google if you feel called to like the sixes, like five sixes in a tarot reading. I feel like there's there's balance, there's harmony, there's love, there's meeting the right people. People that are supportive along your path uh, will help you gain that that success with a greater sense of ease and genuine uh, genuine love and caring. Knight of Pentacles, I do feel like you are on the right path. If you found this message, you are on the right path. Keep going, trust your instincts. Um, if, we've, if we've, you know, stepped off path or we've had some doubts or um, some, some people that like try to bring us down, that's okay, learn from it and keep going. Uh, four cups. Yeah, I feel like there's sometimes along the way people try to sway us like, oh, maybe you should go on that path. People trying to make you doubt the path you're on, but you know you uh, keep going. You are meant to be very successful here. Nine of Wands. I feel like it's like, um, yeah, I mean, if you look at this particular Nine of Wands, it's like I feel like people try to People try to instill their own fears on you, like, oh, raw lions and tigers and bears, oh my, you know, it's, it's like people, um, and maybe not even intentionally, it's just, you know, maybe sometimes people try to um, project their own fears upon you, like, oh, don't go that way, too scary, you know, be careful, um, but take a breath and keep following your own instincts here is what I'm getting. King of Pentacles. Yeah, I love that. It's like you are in charge. You are on your own throne here. Um, interesting on the bottom of this deck, we have the temperance. So temperance is definitely about balance, alchemical healing, the right mixture of people, uh, places, resources. Everything is coming into fruition for you right now. Trust. Let go of the past. Uh, don't worry about the future. Just, just stay in your moment right now all is well all right let us uh close with our lemurian oracle message we have beyond the mind the mind moves us through the logistics of life so we can function in the world however endless mental chatter self-doubt limiting stories and subconscious programming keeps us out of keeps us in our suffering 
Step outside mind-based limitations. Looking at things in an overly logical way will hinder you and obstruct access to your superpowers. The past may be running you and making your mind spin so you cannot see what is really in front of you. Consider what your heart and your gut are telling you. What would the situation at hand feel like if you released all fears and worries? Are those concerns even yours? Peace be with you. Bye now.